Hello, it's Tristan here from Zebra Invest, and today I'm bringing you a cracking video all about asylum and refugee housing. And the idea is here is that we're going to help find properties that will suit Serco, Ready Homes, and the providers who work with the Border Force to make sure that we've got housing available for those who do come to the country. There's such a shortfall of it that most of these companies are desperate need to be able to find properties to be able to place people in. And what they are looking for is a decent quality home that someone can live in. It doesn't have to be a stunning property. It's got to be something that's durable, well put together and creates a nice home. I mean, we're not looking at the top of the range HMO. We're looking at something that's steady eddy, decent quality property that these companies can take off your hands, lease for up to about seven years. And then they will, you know, it's very easy for them to maintain and look after because they won't be, pay, you won't be paying any management fees. They will be looking after most of the maintenance charts are they want you to look after the boiler and the electrics and the property has just got to be up to HMO standards. So that means that you can have a decent kitchen that might have been fitted in the last 10 years. It doesn't need to be a brand new top of the range one. It's got to be a good quality kitchen or a good kitchen. Uh, it's got all the facilities that someone would need to live there. So that's great when you're trying to head out to the market and you're trying to find opportunities or properties that possibly more turnkey properties, rather than necessarily following your hold complete buy, refurbish, refinance. These are properties that can generate a really decent cash flow straight off the bat. So I'm going to be going through this and showing you how you can use property data to find an area, a good area for investment. You might know one in your area around you. We'll roughly explain how you can use crime data to make sure that you're finding appropriate properties for people to move into. And then I'll then show you both the two, two companies that I know who'll be able to put these and take these properties in about seven years contracts. And hopefully we'll be able to find a deal um, that's going to do at least 10% yield. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to share and jump into property data and show you how you can do this. So for those of you that... Uh, I just come here the first time to see this. Uh, property is a fantastic piece of kit that can really help you find, search, drill down, and work out what kind of area to invest in, what deals are available in the area, and really deep dive to do some research into a property. And I use it on a day-to-day -day basis. So if you haven't already signed up for this or aren't trying it, I can get a 14-day free trial using the link in the description below. And if you use the discount code ZEB, that will give you 50% off your first month. So effectively, you get a whole month for free. So what I'm going to do is just click to log in. And then the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to research. So the idea is here, we need to find an area where this business model or the model will work. Personally, I'm based in Norfolk. So what I'm going to do here is click filters. And my first filter that I want to add is postcode contains NR. So we can contain any data that's in Tripoli. In Norfolk. And then that's now going to just show all of the properties and all the postcodes in my area. So once we've got that, it's not going to be quite good enough to be able to dive down into and into that postcode data. So what we can then do is if you click settings, we can add postcode sectors. So then we can just sort out the properties that we want in Norfolk and we can actually drill it down to each different postcode area. And then the next bit I'm looking to do is basically I'm trying to work out the um, go on properties that are going to be the cheapest kind of price in that area. So if we go average blended pound per square foot and ascending, that means it's going to give us effectively the cheapest properties in the area or the cheapest postcodes um, around the country at the top of the page. So here you can see we've got NR32, NR31, NR32, 1, NR31. And here we can also see the different rough crime rates of those areas. And the areas that we're going to be looking for are going to be areas where they've typically got a lower crime rate, so obviously a lower number, but they're also going to be areas where they don't have an Article 4 area. So what I want to do here is, so these 400, 300 are fairly high, so I'm going to go with the uh, 167 there. We can just simply just Google it to see where it is. And it says that's in a postcode of Great Yarmouth. And then... I know, but um, I, so, uh, sorry, but Great Yarmouth has an Article 4 area. So then we can have a look and see where NR30 is. So that one's a little high again. NR32, have a look at that one. This is now over in Lowestoft. So 
Um, we've got, here we go, we've got one higher one there and another lower one. But if we turn and say, take this postcode, and I'm going to say these two here, where they've got slightly lower rates and lower average asking prices, and R32, where's an R33 zero as well? That's again in lower stuff. So lower stuff looks like a little good area to be able to try and find these properties and pick them up. So the next thing that I'm going to do is head over to my research function and head to local data. Um, and what we do here is we just type in lower stuff for our gold mine area. There we go. And that's just going to search and bring up an area drawn for that for that kind of area. I'm going to then expand that area just to kind of bring a few more properties into it and then click generate data. At this point, it takes a little bit of time. And the idea is it's going through and it's finding all the properties that are on the market with Rightmove, Zoopla on the market, pulling them all into one place so you can analyze them and look at them all in one property. But you can see the it gives you average house prices. You can see there's a massive swing here. At the lowest end down there, supposedly 15,000, all the way up to um, 575,000 at the top end of it. But the bit that I like to do is to go into the pound per square foot because then we're going to try and look at properties where they're cheaper than the average rather than just based on the size of a property. What we do is we're going to click on to filter and we're going to add a filter here. So then we're going to have any property that's been sold is now being removed. So if it's positive, that means it's had a sale agreed. If it's negative, that means it's still on the market at the moment. And by applying that, that should then clear this all out. And then we'll then be able to click through those little points on the graph to work out which ones are potential opportunities. So here we go, 1250, 82 pound a square foot. I haven't clicked into any of these before, so we're going together to see how these all turn out. Um, and we obviously, we need uh, probably larger properties as well, but we're gonna have a look through Fur Lane. And you get the gist here. And that's gonna be a bit of a larger property there. But we can have a quick look through and you see roughly what we've come up with here. So Paul Hubbard, we've got a three bedroom terrace house on Bridge Road. But you can see here, this is a colossal property. And we've got one, two, three bedrooms straight off the bat. And you've got potential to have a fourth bedroom and a fifth one if you put a stud wall in there that would need an extra bathroom. But that could end up making it quite a good little opportunity. £215,000 and you've got five rentable bedrooms. I'll keep that open to give you an idea for later. Um, I'm not interested in a commercial property because we're literally just looking for something we could turn around and rent out straight away. Here we've got a three bedroom house on Fur Lane. Uh, and this one, the only downside is here um, and it wouldn't work so well with it because we have a, um, we've got to go through a room to get into another room. This type of property wouldn't work. It would work as a normal rental. Um, we've got here, we've got a, uh, <laughs> a property that won't work. And then we've got some garages, which again won't work. And here we're looking at uh, an apartment, a four bedroom apartment. One, it's got 13,000 square foot. And we can have a look at this. It's got, by the looks of things, I'm going to have to get there's actually a commercial property. So I'll discount that as well. But look, let's go back to this one. We've got 215,000 pounds for huge property. And we've got, you can see here just on the right hand side with property data, it's giving us the postcode of that property. What we can then do is you can then have a quick look online to see what the crime rates of that property are roughly like. So I'll jump over there now. So if you head to a website called Check My Street, you can enter a postcode and it's giving you loads of background detail about a property. The interesting bit it also does, it usually does, it'll give you crime rates or any data that's in that area. And actually on this road, it's saying there's been very little. Um, you can see it's got three, um, three bits in it from May. So if we click in here, I'm hoping. So it's giving me much more than that, but you can roughly see what's going on there. And then if you look for the police, police crime map, you can also search to see in an area to see what's going on. And then you can see roughly where it is. So if we could say we search another area, so we search another area in the postcode. And then this will show if we've got much going on in the area. So this is over, most commonly reported, over the whole of the last year. You can see the total, it's not great, but it's not, not that bad. Um, and then we can see a crime map to see where this has been happening in the area. And this is actually, that's giving all the crimes to the area in the whole of Lowestoft. And then we see statistics and we can then work it down to see 
And the one thing that we're looking for here is hate crime. And there's nothing on that list coming up. So that should be a good area for that property to purchase. So the next bit is, Tristan, you said we're going to try and work out what, how much money we can earn on this. And that's right. So what we're going to do is go online. And if you search the LHA rates, you'll be able to find or um, search the local housing authority rate in your area. If I click into the postcode, which I've just done there, and then this is going to give us rates per room. So with this property, we've said, um, looking at the floor plan, it's going to be quite easy to put a stud wall in there. And then we'll be have a separate living room and a kitchen. And we'd have one, two, three, four, five um, bedrooms for the property. So if we turn around and go on here, we can turn and say calculator. And then we've got this local housing authority rate. So we've got £81.50 times by 52, 52 weeks a year. And we've got five people who can stay in this property. So we're going to be able to earn £21,190 a year out of this property. So and then if you then place that over the £215,000 I mentioned earlier, it's giving you um, just under a 9%. I'm sure you can you'd be able to offer, make a cheekier offer or get another price lower to be able to get that over the 10% mark. But there's plenty of other properties in areas like that. And once you've got this data, um, for example, like we know lower stuff to good area, you could also then go one step further, do the classic route of heading straight into right move and lower stuff. And we know we're looking for at least three bedrooms and we're looking for houses. And you just simply follow this search. And what you can then do is you can add a keyword search and we're going to put in hallway. Because if we put in the word hallway, it means that we're usually going to end up with hall entrance houses. And then we're then just looking for those properties that are at the lower end of the price bracket, which we're hoping to be probably around about the £150,000 mark. And it's going to take a little bit more effort to search them and find these. And you see all of these have got the word hallway in them. We're getting down to about the price that we want. Matching the keywords, here we go, hallway, hallway, hallway. We're getting down, soon they'll be here. So here you can start seeing these properties coming up. So that was the one that we looked at earlier, um, Bridge Road. Here you've got another four beds, terrace. Um, and just by clicking here, you can see this was once a nail salon in one part of the building. But you can see above here, we've got one, two, three, four. There's at least four bedrooms upstairs. You might be able to convert downstairs into more rooms if you want to get a little bit more creative. And then if we then look at a semi-detached, we can have a look. And we're looking, usually I try and look for something with a bay window because that usually suggests that it's going to have those rooms. But here you go, look, here's a five-bedroom house. Um, here you'd probably actually use this as a one, two, three, four, five. You could possibly even get a six, but you need to add an extra bathroom into the place. But again, the whole point is here, you know, if you looked at that property and we did manage to get five bedrooms out of that property, we've then got the local housing authority rate, which was £81.50 a week. Times by 52. Times that by, say, five bedrooms. And then this time over 180000 have Obviously, you're still easily able to find properties that are going to generate around 10, but 10 plus percent yield and it's going to be guaranteed for seven years. So and the last bit I said I'd explain to you is where you can find these providers. So you've only got to search online to find these places. There's Serco who provide housing usually across the east of England. I think they've taken a contract up north and they look at provide vital accommodation. You can then get in touch with them to so then reach out and then see if you can then provide accommodation to them and what kind of properties they are looking for. You can do the same with Ready Homes. They provide another part of the country. And you can see they've been providing the contract for quite a long time. And so they aren't going anywhere anytime soon and require more housing or accommodation to do this. So hopefully that's a fantastic way if you can find deals across your patch, your area, that are going to deliver a fantastic return whilst having a positive impact. Hopefully you enjoy this video and um, you'll like it. Um, if you've got any comments or questions, drop them in the below. 